Man, that is a thick fish. Look at the back on that one. Pretty, pretty crappie. Man, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Flat calm out there, it's 60 degrees right now. It's supposed to get up to like 90 today. Once it warms up, that sun gets higher, gonna shift gears, go after bluegills in the shallows, and then midday, throw some topwater frogs for some big buckets. So, let's go. Sitting in about 15, 16 feet, see if we can pick off a couple of walleyes here, just kind of right off the reeds. There's some taller standing stuff right off of the pencil reeds here, and then it's a pretty decent drop. So a lot of those walleyes will just move up and down that, that shelf, low light, early and late in the day. So sun's not even up yet over the treetop, so we're going to give her a couple hours. See if we can pick off a couple walleyes and then shift to panfish later in the day. Tis the plan. It's gonna be a scorcher today. It's supposed to get up to high 80s, low 90s. Got plenty of water. Always gotta stay hydrated. Got the, the buff, some sunscreen, sunglasses. Precautions, people. Take precautions. <laughs> a little change of plans guys i was sitting in the walleye spot for about 20 25 minutes rigged up some more rods and uh realized how calm it actually is out here so i switched gears a little bit tied on a little thumper jig just a little plastic with that little blade there now we're just going to cast around for some bluegills and crappies there's definitely walleyes in that spot but it just with how calm it is, it's hard not to get out here and cast around for some of these panfish, so. it's what we're gonna do. I think it was a good decision too, because three casts in a row are hooked up now. This actually feels a little better, guys. What do we got? You're getting me in the weeds here. Nice crappie, nice crappie. Oh, we're on something special now, guys. Yeah, we are on something special now. Forget the walleyes. Holy cow. You can see he just annihilated that thumper jig. Just slow rolling it over the weed tops here. So where these fish were super shallow before, they're just off that first break. Those taller weeds hanging out in that tall standing cabbage. Man, that is a thick fish. Look at the back on that one. Pretty, pretty crappie. Get a quick measurement on her here. Just shy of 14. 
Boy, get that one back. Look at the yapper on that one. <laughs> Beautiful fish. So long, sweetness. I had to take advantage of the, the no wind. It is flat out here, super calm. And I think there are a pile of panfish up in these weeds. So just gonna work the edge here, cast in that seven to 10 foot stuff, the taller cabbage weed. See what we can draw out of here. That's three casts in a row now. A couple bluegills and that nice crappie. So you know there's more. Let's get after it. Just off the edge. Back of the boat's actually sitting in 14, 15 feet right now. Casting up to the edge of the weeds in about seven, eight. Just slow rolling. Uh-oh, got a phone call. Got another decent one. Man, they are loaded in this tall cabbage. Another nice crappie, guys. Whew. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh! <laughs> Casting for summer crappies. There is not one other soul on this lake right now. Beautiful fish. Guessing that's about a 12, 12 inch or 13. Find out. Oh, 13 and a half. Nice fish. They are thick too. Beauty. Oh, sweetheart. Man. Here's what we're fishing. Just right up to the reeds. Some tall cabbage. There's a pretty, pretty quick break off those reeds. So it does drop down into about eight feet. Probably only three, four feet off of the pencil reeds is when that drop really, really goes down. So a lot of panfish hanging in the taller vegetation, not really much up shallow. For the most part, I think your nicer fish are gonna come out of that seven to 12 foot range, just depending on the lake and where that vegetation is growing. But we're gonna get out there and we're gonna get another one of those. These are some thick crappies. Awesome, love casting for them. It just kind of adds that different element, not sitting there watching a slip float go down or anything like that. You're actually casting out, feeling the contact when that fish bites. It's a lot of fun. Let's go get another one. There are some bean stalks down there too. Everything's green now. Doubt about that. <laughs> Another good fish, guys. Off the edge of the cabbage. These fish will pretty much stay here all summer, too. Plenty of food, oxygen, cover. Nowhere else to go. No reason to go anywhere else. Oh, it's a pike. Oh, and he broke me off. Toothy critters. That'll happen. She is gonna get hot. My coworker Dave is gonna meet me out here. I'm gonna go pick him up. On the top water. <laughs> Unreal. That's a brute. Holy cow. Wow. <laughs> Oh, guys, this bluegill. <laughs> you want to talk about a bluegill? Look at the colors on that dude. That is awesome. Leech hanging out of the mouth there. Holy cow. Pretty fish. That is a pretty fish. Wow. Look at the colors on that guy. Little Billy threw into the reeds, little slip bobber, little leech. And little Billy came to play. Dave had a leave already, came out for a couple hours. He caught that absolute giant bluegill, 10 and a quarter. Thing was thick too. He was actually throwing like a small little surface plug for 
think it, the intention was to fish for bass, but can keep the bluegills off that thing. It's pretty sweet. Bluegills on the surface, on the top water. So, boil there. Another little billy. Gonna work over these reeds off this point for a little bit. See if we can get a couple bluegills, maybe a crappie. Might throw the frog around for some bass. Don't really know. I'm running out of time though. I got a couple hours left. So we're gonna see what we can drum up. See what happens. Let's go. <laughs> Getting into some nice bass now, guys. Come here, baby. Oh, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Woo. First cast out in the reeds with the frog. And boom. Look at that bucket, huh? That's a thick fish. Choked on the old frog there. Pitched her way back in the opening in the middle of those reeds. And bam. Done deal. There we go. Beautiful bass. There you go, Billy. Thanks for playing. Cast back up in the thick stuff, see if we can yank another one out of there. He's still on there. He just brought me into the reeds. I hooked him. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of work. That guy got buried down in there. Popped right out. Nice little bass. Back. The day is winding down. Lost our sun actually. Clouded up quite a bit. We got dumped on. Had a little weather move in. We got quite a bit of rain. So scooted off the lake quick and uh, got the heck out of there. As always had a blast chasing those crappies, bluegills. Bass are starting to go on surface baits, throwing the frog back in the heavy stuff and yanking them out of there. So we're definitely gonna be doing that again. As always guys, thank you for checking out the channel. Thanks for watching the videos. Please subscribe, comment, share, and stay tuned. There's more coming, getting back out there, getting after some more of those big crappies and some exotic stuff I'm thinking. Maybe like, you know, sheep's head, bull head, sturgeon, I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of in, kind of in the mood for some bottom dwellers right now. Some some undesirables. Dodged a few storms, got out early in the morning, caught some of those big crappies, some decent bluegills, and starting to get some of those bass on the surface. So look towards the weeds, the vegetation's holding a lot of fish. We will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.